This is a classic Kit Kat clock. Not sure why my screwdriver is in the opening scene, but there you go, we'll use that later. This particular clock, um, the tail animation stopped working. So the first thing you need to do is push in to pop the back open. And then it comes right off. Looking inside, you can see that where there should be something, there's a gaping hole. And that's the electromagnet that powers the animation has somehow come loose. So the first thing you have to do is use a small screwdriver to undo this screw so we can take the pendulum out. These instructions are actually provided by the customer care from the KitKat company when I contacted them and I've included them in the description in case you uh, need to reference them. So once you've got the screw out you have to carefully remove this piece of retaining plastic. It's a little fiddly and a little delicate so yeah, there you go, off it comes. So once you've done that, you can take the pendulum out. And we're ready to move on to the next part of the operation. So according to the instructions, uh, this whole piece is held in with four drops of glue in the four corners. And you just put your fingers behind it and you should be able to pop them out. And it looks like that's true. It's coming out quite easily. That's a pleasant surprise. So as we turn it over, we can definitely see that something went wrong. It looks like the uh, bits of plastic that were holding the circuit board in place uh, snapped off. So I'll take a closer look. And you can see that uh, one has snapped off. So it looks like one side was melted to hold the board in place and then the other side doesn't look like it was melted at all. And that might explain why the tail animation never worked properly in the first place. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes to find my glue sticks for my glue gun and uh, another 10 minutes for the glue gun to warm up. And it's going to take you about 30 seconds to actually do the gluing as you'll see. You don't have to use a hot glue gun, you could use some kind of epoxy or some other type of glue. But, you know, after I spent that much time looking for the glue, I may as well have used it. If you go to the KitKat official website, you can learn about the history of the clock, which is kind of interesting, and it dates back to the 1930s, if I remember correctly. And, apparently, this is one of the only clocks, or maybe the only clock, that is still manufactured in the United States. And the original model had an AC motor very similar to the GE clock in one of my previous videos. And the link to that video is also in the description. So here I'm going to use some of this gel super glue and uh, put it in the four corners where they were, were originally glued. The gel glue is nice because it stays in place and doesn't slide all over the place. So I'll put another one here. Yeah, nice generous glob. And it looks like this section never had any glue. Okay, looks good. So I'm just going to flip that over. And we're going to line it up with the rails along the side. And then we're going to push it into place. There we go. Excellent. Slide it down. And we're just going to push it and hold it. And allow the glue to just kind of set for a little bit. Okay, now it's a case of uh, reinstalling the pendulum for the animation. Just sliding it over the eyes and over the center point. And then we're going to put this retaining piece back on. It's a little fiddly and a little delicate. So you've got to be careful and line up all of the pins and prongs. Just make sure that they are on. Definitely don't want to force this piece, so it would easily get broken. So I just line everything up and then I'll just click in place. We'll insert the screw, tighten that up. And we don't want to over tighten it because it is uh, plastic. They could easily strip the threads in there. So we'll just kind of slowly key in and kind of 
make it snug. Next we're going to install the tail, it just slides in and clips on. And we'll install the two C-cell batteries, which should keep this clock running for at least a year. Yeah, so if you get a chance, uh, read the history about the clock, it's kind of fascinating. Uh, it's got a, a, quite a long history. Replacing the cover is a little fiddly too, you gotta push that tab in and that will bend the back and allow it to go into place. So there we go, one repaired classic Kit Kat clock. So let's hang it on the wall and see if it works. Perfect, it's never worked so good before. Thanks for watching.